Hey guys, this is day one of the Victorian era home remodel. I wanted to give you guys a tour of everything on the exterior as well as the interior and kind of give you guys an idea of what I am planning on how to restore this uh, beautiful home. I wanted to also give you guys some insight into cost and everything like that. So if you guys are ever thinking about restoring an old home, you guys can kind of have uh, a budget of what to go off of. Uh, really quick, I was able to get this home as a foreclosure, so HUD, uh, basically a bank or a government owned property. It was listed for 60,000 and then the way that works is people bid on it uh, and to try and get it. I saw a lot of attention, a lot of interest in it um, and I'll just be transparent with all the costs and everything for you guys. I was able to obtain it for 100,000. So uh, I put in that offer, they got back to me pretty quick. It was a pretty quick process within I think two or three days. And so I'm in the process of closing, should close in about three, uh, two to three weeks, somewhere in there. If you guys are thinking about doing it yourself, then I would say go for it. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and I hope you guys find this uh, video encouraging and educational. All right, let's go ahead and go to the front door and take a look inside. Here's the front path. I like that little 421 up there. Nice little foyer. Uh, I love the front door. Um, I like the initials. Apparently this is people that used to live here, JL and AA. And a nice little lion deco. Let's go ahead and go inside. All right, immediately met by the foyer. What I probably like most about this is the, are these hardwood floors. All I would have to do is kind of sand these down and refinish them. They should look pretty good. I love that medallion right there. It's just, it seems like it's just waiting for a nice chandelier. Uh, what I like probably most about this foyer is that you have these nice barn doors here. For some reason, I'm, I just think Beauty and the Beast on that BR guest scene where they just fling open these doors and then uh, start serving people. Because I do, you know, you always want a home where people can come to it. So let's start here in the dining room. So nice fireplace right there, uh, a little furnace stove right there, and nice big windows here for, you know, some nice curtains. This looks like a great place for a nice dining room table to me. Once again, another, another nice medallion. Here is the kitchen, what's left of it at least. Uh, this looks like, I don't know, like a little servant's quarter, a little nice little sink. Here is the door to the um, backyard. And here is the cabinets and whatnot. Most of this will end up having to be replaced. Uh, nice another little medallion there. This flooring is not gonna be able to be used. I'm looking to go and uh, probably resurface this with some hardwood flooring or something. That looks like it's the baseboard right there. I also noticed this, I thought it was from up there, but thankfully it's not. It's actually this door right here that is uh, having all the water drip down on it and then it's leaking this way. So that is a blessing in itself. I also wanted to point out these radiators right here. These are, looks like cast iron radiators, really pretty, um, very common in Victorian era as they didn't have you know, central heating there. All right, let me take you guys over to what I'm going to deem as, once again, another beautiful radiator right there. The music room. This is the music room. Similar setup, nice radiator with uh, nice windows. Just looking to have some curtains hung on them. I do believe that there is exposed brick behind this fireplace, so I'm looking to go ahead and take some of this uh, this plaster off so that I can expose that brick. Nice Victorian era fireplace. Uh, it looks like it has not been touched really since it was built. These are Victorian era uh, colors and whatnot, so pretty cool. Okay, this will go ahead and enter uh, bedroom one potentially or another uh, parlor slash hangout area. Beautiful fan here. Once again, a nice fireplace. Great hardwood floors. <laughs> I love this little archway here with these, these ram heads. Those are just kind of interesting. This is probably the nicest radiator that I've seen in the whole house. Beautiful cast iron. Looks great. Um, and then this is bathroom one. It looks awful and it was actually just an add-on. So I'm looking at completely renovating this entire thing. So it just, it's way too cramped here. Very small, very dirty. Can't believe they put carpet in a bathroom. I did want to show you guys what's underneath here. It looks like there is just that old type of vinyl uh, tile underneath here. Looking at completely redoing that. Okay, we are back in the foyer now. And let's go ahead and take a peek upstairs. Go ahead and go up. Nice window here. Beautiful sunlight. I'll go ahead and take you guys in bathroom number two. So this is actually my very first thing that I'm looking to remodel. This bathroom, this bathroom right here. Once again, a nice radiator. 
I'm looking to get rid of all of this stuff here and go straight from the top. I opened the closet and there's another toilet, but it is not hooked up or anything. So I'm looking to just get all this stuff out of here and make something, same thing new. This is a, called a cloth of tub. They're actually very common in the Victorian era, but the problem is you have to install something to put a little uh, shower in there. So I think I'll probably keep that and install that shower. But yeah, looking to get uh, totally rid of everything in here. Once again, I can't believe they put carpet. And what's underneath this carpet is just looks like some base. So I'll, I'll probably be cooking out some flooring to put in here. All right, so this is once again at the top of the stairs. That is a beautiful medallion. And that's probably the biggest one in the whole house. So. I'm definitely looking to probably put another little chandelier right there. Love this hand railing. A lot of attention to detail here. A little old, but once it's restored, it should look great. Another radiator. We'll go into uh, uh, bedroom, I guess, two. I'm going to call this the child bedroom because look at that. I love that just uh, that trim detail up top there. It looks beautiful. Um, once again, a nice fireplace here. All those colors look like they're straight from the Victorian era. All around, not bad for uh, bedroom one, the child's bedroom. This I'm gonna call the Victorian bedroom just because it looks um, so nice, so neat. I love the wallpaper. I don't even know if I'll have to replace those. Um, I love this fireplace once again. It looks like there was actually a coal stock fireplace back in the day. And we have the nice closet once again. I love this. I don't know what that is, but I have a little coat hanger obviously, but it looks um, very Victorian, very old, very historic, so pretty cool. And there's the there's the view. I will point out, I'm looking to replace that metal tin roof uh, at some point, probably with shingles, just because uh, metal can be a little bit pricier, and uh, and it, yeah, I just think it'll be a good look. It'll match the, match the top. All right, let's go into bedroom um, three here. I think I might call this one the homestead. So here's bedroom three, just kind of a nice, once again, little little bedroom here. Uh, what's probably most interesting about this one is that you have kind of an odd closet. It's like a step-up closet and uh, all, your, all your places here to put your clothes in. Here is the sunroom. Um, and it, it's interesting because this one actually has different windows. So those windows are different than those windows. So I'm almost curious if this was like an add-on or something. And uh, let me show you guys what's underneath this carpet. It's kind of interesting here. It looks like there is hardwood underneath that carpet. So. That could be good, save some money. Um, once again, just refinish those, resand those. Should be good, obviously repaint here. And finally, last but not least, our laundry room. So there's the plug uh, hookup for washer and dryer. I have no idea what this is. This just kind of came with the house, kind of weird. And then I'm um, probably gonna need a new one of those. Uh, before I end this, I wanted to take you guys up here to the attic. I don't know if you guys saw this ladder, but if anyone's like just wanting to go up here, so let's go ahead and do it. I did want to show you guys some stuff that's pretty cool up here. It looks like I have a leak in the roof. So the roof will also be one of those things that I'm looking to replace right off the bat. It looks like it's coming right about there. And then here is the other chimney. Once again, you can tell that it is not load bearing. It's not touching anything. I'll give you guys a shot here of it all the way down. So that's going all the way down. And uh, so yeah, that is everything in the attic. Walking up to it, you have all of these bushes and stuff. I'll most likely end up taking all those out, um, as well as that shrubbery over there, as well as this tree. This one I'm gonna keep. It's a nice dogwood. It's blooming just in time for spring. That tree over there, there are some limbs that are kind of in the way of the house, so I'll probably have to chop some of that down. The biggest thing about the exterior though is this paint that's just chipping on these cedar boards right here. So all this, I'm probably gonna need to either scrape off or sand or something, potentially pressure wash. You gotta be careful though with these old homes with pressure washing because they are not uh, weatherproof from the inside. Other than that, this is the front porch. I'm definitely going to need to replace that. These handrails are definitely gonna have to go. And as well, I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with these columns. Notice obviously that they are rotting here. So I'm gonna have to um, do something about those, probably cut it right about here and then replace it. Uh, other than that, let me take around, take you around to the back. There is a little bit of a foundational issue with that. So I'm looking at potentially having to go in there and uh, redo some of these boards. Notice this right here. So it's always something to look for. All right, so this is now towards the back of the property. That is also mine. So I'm gonna try to figure out something to do with that. The biggest thing about this is that traffic right there. I'm gonna to try to figure out a way to build like a natural fence right along there so to block out some of this noise. 
So this is the backyard. It used to be a garden. It used to be a pergola in the back side of this. I've already taken out some of these cedar boards, but this is what I'm gonna be dealing with mostly. So here you can see this board is, is really rotting. We're now pretty much all the way down in here. So I'm gonna have to go in here and uh, replace some of that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something. Make sure to come back for day number two. God bless.